Hello, Aslan class, and welcome to your history lesson this week, your second history lesson. Uh, yesterday, um, <clears throat> you uh, were given a link, and hopefully you've all seen the video um, of the Roman workshop. Unfortunately, uh, because we're not in school, uh, we weren't able to do it in school in person. It would have been something where we would have actually done all together. However, uh, the next best thing was for um, for the, for the company to do a, a virtual one. So they did kindly posted the link up online. So I hope you enjoyed that video yesterday and it's given you a better understanding of the Romans. And um, hopefully you may have taken some notes down and things like that to help with your work. So today's uh, lesson, uh, if I'm gonna I just get up the slides um, for today. Okay, so today is all about you being investigators, yeah? And it's all about you being historians and putting historical uh, inquiry skills to the test. Um, so, because you're going to be exploring what modern day Rome is like. Now, uh, oh, what's going on with my screen? Funny things are happening. Does Rome still exist today? What do you think? Do you think Rome still exists today? Of course, the answer is yes. Rome still exists today in the nation of Italy and Rome is actually the capital city of Italy. A capital city is where the parliament or the government meet. So Rome is the capital city of Italy. Now, uh, what we're going to do today what you're going to do, you're going to be using your computers or you're using your tablets and things like that to do a bit of research. And what we're going to do, we're going to look at different parts of, uh, of Rome and we're going to explore uh, Rome. And we can use Google Maps for that or we can use some websites to get some information down. We're going to explain the tasks first and then I'm going to, go, I'm going to, go to show you uh, things that you can do. So task number one, Google Earth some of the famous sites in modern day Rome. So here are some uh, things that we can look at here. We can look at Col the Colosseum, we can look at the Roman baths, we can look at Pantheons, we can look at Circus Maximus, we can look at the Roman Forum. So what you need to do, you can download the app online if you want to. It may be already be on an iPad or something like that. Uh, Let's just get this up. So uh, let's go to Google Earth. Okay, we type that into our search bar here at the top and we can explore Google Earth. Okay, so I'm gonna click on that. And it will take me to, to, to this website where I'm now going to explore um, on Google Earth and look for some Roman uh, or Rome and look at Rome uh, and have try to see if we can find any Roman artifacts still standing today. It's taken a bit of time to load because it's, it's quite big. So I'm going to type in here uh, the uh, oh, spell me wrong. Uh, Roman, let's type in uh, Roman Pantheon, shall we? And I'm going to click on it and it's going to take me all the way to Italy, okay? And here we can see it in Google now, in our Google Maps, I can now explore the Roman Pantheon. And here it gives me a little video, so it gives me a little bit of information for me to look at. I'm going to just close that down a little bit. And we can see here, this is the, the, the Roman uh, Pantheon. If I move myself over here, we can either look at it as uh, 2D as a top-down image, so you can see the surrounding areas. Okay, this map tells you whereabouts in the world you are, or you can go into 3D mode and you can, you can have a look at it like that. If you want to get closer up, we can zoom right in, okay. Uh, and if you 
want to go right in, we can see the Roman pantheon uh, there. You can go into street mode by clicking on that person. Sorry, it's taking its time. Uh, you click, you drag, and you place it down onto uh, a blue area, and it will then zoom in into street mode. And now these are actually real photographs that have been taken. And this is what it looks in, looks like uh, inside. Yeah. So uh, have a look at the at the list. I'm going to go back to the PowerPoint. So if you have a look at this list here, um, you can pause the video to make sure you jot these down. So for task number one, be a historian, do a bit of research, use Google Earth to find these um, to find these uh, to find these objects. Okay, in Rome. Now for task two, research and write about one of these sites in modern day Rome. So like I said, when when you went back to this, and when we went to, if I go to the uh, the website. Okay, let's let's come out of street mode. Okay, and then I'm going to click on. Uh, I'm going to click on the guided tour part again, so I get this box come up now. And now this gives me a video, it gives me a bit of information about the Roman Pantheon, okay? And what I can do here, I can use this information to help uh, do a bit of research and to write about the Roman Pantheon. I can also go on to other websites. If you just type in the Roman Pantheon in a Google search, and it will give you lots of information and different websites that you can use. Put your, uh, put your um, research and your findings in your own words. So you don't just copy, you, you put them into your own words. So for task number two, pick one of these uh, places, look it up on Google. You may want to use other internet uh, websites to help uh, find some information about them and um, and put it up onto tapestry. Now for task three, so just push yourself a little bit more, take one of these modern day sites and compare it to a, compare it to uh, ancient times and see what, if there are any similarities and differences. And the way you're gonna to have to do that again, I've got books, you can, so if we look at the Roman Pantheon, I may look at some books uh, if I've got them at home. If not, I could go online and look at, Roman Pantheon in ancient times, and then Roman Pantheon in modern day times. So for example, I may go on to uh, here, uh, ancient Rome Pantheon. And it gives me some information here, okay? Uh, and I can click on this and it will, and it will take me to this website. We know it's a trusted website because it's got an um, a, 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 a thing at the top. It may ask you to accept cookies. Uh, you don't have to. Uh, and here it's got uh, the Pantheon is one of the best preserved monuments of ancient Rome. The structure was completed during the reign of Hadrian. And uh, as you read through it, you may want to pick up some things. Okay? The present day Pantheon is located by, on the site of an earlier structure. Uh, now, you'll get pop-ups coming up maybe on this site asking you to subscribe. Eat safety, talk to an adult, okay? Do not click subscribe. Do not put in your email address here. You just click the X button. Okay, so we got some information here that's going to help us with, our, with me writing my Pantheon. And some things may help in terms of, um, <clears throat> uh, you know, today, uh, back in ancient times, it was used as a temple where people used to worship. Today, it's not really used for that. It's used more for um, you know, historical uh, value. People go to see it. So there are three tasks. Uh, good luck with the history today. Really hope you enjoyed the workshop video yesterday and enjoy being a researcher, being a historian today and looking at ancient Rome artifacts in modern day Rome.
Uh, so any questions, please don't hesitate to ask on Teams. But this is Mr. Lankford signing out for your history lesson today. See you later, guys.